In this first example, we'll be doing a topoclimatic model using Model Builder and Python. A topoclimatic model describes how the air temperature changes with altitude. We know that it's going to be warmer near the surface of the Earth and colder as we go upwards above some point on the Earth's surface. And there is a relation between temperature and height called the lapse rate, right here. And we can assume a lapse rate under certain conditions of 5 degrees Celsius per 1,000 meters. And that's negative. Note here, there's a negative sign right there. Which means decrease to represent the fact that temperature decreases with height. So that's negative 5 over 1,000. So degrees Celsius over meters. If we have a sea level temperature of 30 degrees Celsius as our starting point, we could ask using a basic linear equation, what would be the temperature at 1500 meters above sea level? So it's 30 degrees at sea level. What about at 1500 meters, 1 1.5 kilometers? We utilize a basic linear equation, y equals b plus mx. b is the starting temperature, the temperature at which x equals 0. So this represents the intercept. So b is the starting temperature when x is 0. m is the rate of change of temperature with height, right here. 5 degrees Celsius per 1,000 meters, or 0 0.005, negative 0 0.005 per meter. X is the altitude that you want to make the estimate at. In this case here, X is 1,500 meters above sea level. So we use the equation there. 30, so that's again B, plus 1,500 meters, that's that, that's our X, times the lapse rate, right here, which is negative 5 over 1,000. So we just fill in those b and m and x that's all we got to do and then we work out arithmetically well 1500 times 5 or times negative 5 is 7500 degrees celsius over a thousand and that works out to be 7 negative 7.5 degrees so 30 plus negative 7.5 is the same as 30 minus 7.5 degrees and the answer then is 22.5 degrees Celsius at 1500 meters. ASL above sea level. So we just did that for one single elevation. And you can see it's an algebraic equation. And we know that with map algebra, we can substitute raster layers for variables. The only variable here is x. So x can be a raster layer containing elevation values, a digital elevation model. And then this local operation of times and plus will happen to every single cell. So we have a general equation then of 30 degrees Celsius minus 0 0.005 degrees Celsius times height in meters. So all we need to do then is write that as a statement in Python and change height to the name of a 
raster variable that contains a digital elevation model. Or we could create a model in Model Builder. So let's look at those two ways. So our general equation is this, 30 minus raster elevation times 0 0.005. So we have a minus here and a multiplier. So we have two arithmetic operators, an input layer, which is elevation. And that should be in meters. So if it's not, that has to be converted prior to that. Cartographically, we have elevation, an arithmetic operation to get to temperature. What that ar arithmetic operation will be depends on the system. Can the system handle more than one? Usually not. So this will be one tuple, one arithmetic operation for minus one for multiply. For using Model Builder, we would first set our environment options, the critical ones we've talked about, to the layer elevation that we're working with. So that's the extent, the output coordinate system, the snap raster, the cell size, and the mask. Then in Model Builder, we would make a model that looks like this. We'd have our input elevation right here. We have times. And then that'll be 0 0.005. That will produce a raster where every cell has been multiplied by the lapse rate per meter. And then 30 minus the output from the first tuple. That will produce temperature in Celsius from elevation. So that's one way to do it by looking at the equation, just as, this, as if we were using the equation straightforward, the way we saw it, 30 minus lapse rate times elevation. The map algebra is actually much simpler. If we discount the things that we do in here the first time that we use a Python session in a new session of ArcGIS Pro. So we have to have our imports, we have to type those in, and we can also set our environment settings. If we don't want the environment settings that we set in the global or application level on the analysis tab environments for the model, for example, before making the model, so if those are okay, you don't have to reset them in the Python environment. You only set environments in the Python environment when you have something that's different from what you've set in the application environment. So given that these, we, we need to do this the first time, the imports, we don't necessarily need to do an environment settings, but you'll see an example of that being done in the example video that you can follow along with. So here we have essentially two statements. One is to create a raster variable. And that assumes here that elevation is in fact in meters. We know it's not, so we should probably have elevation times 0 0.3048. So that should be there. And then the next statement is one statement, 30 minus 11 times 0 0.005. And that's it. That would produce the topoclimatic model. The same model that we produced through the cartographic model visual process. To create the topoclimatic model, I need my elevation layer. So I'm going to go to my data folder from lecture three, and I'm going to bring in the elevation layer. In order to transform elevation to temperature, I need to use my equation. 
which we see here. We have 30 degrees Celsius, which is the temperature at sea level, minus 0 0.005 degrees Celsius times height in meters. So that this 0 0.005 is how much change in temperature there is per meter, since our DEM will be in meters. And that's because the lapse rate is in meters. So elevation right now is in feet. I must convert it to meters first. I'm going to start by going to data and create a new toolbox. So in this folder where my elevation layer is, I'll make a new toolbox. And I'll call, I'll call it my new tools. Then I'll right click on my new tools and say new model. Need two of them there. So new model. Elevation will be the input. So I'll bring that in and just drop it there. Maybe zoom in a little bit. So elevation first has to be multiplied by 0 0.3048 to make elevation in meters. To do that, I'll need to go to my analysis tools to go to geoprocessing toolboxes and then down to spatial analyst tools. And I'll expand those. And then math. And times. So I'll drag in times. Then I'll connect elevation to times as the first input. So input raster or constant value one. Then what am I going to multiply it by? That will be the second input argument. So I'll double click on times to open up the times dialog. And the second input will be 0 0.3048, like that, and click OK. And that then makes the input or constant raster value to here. I'm going to rename it to 0 0.3048, just so I remember what it is visually. 0 0.3048, like so. This will then be elevation in meters, the output. So I'll just rename it to elev elevation underscore m for meters. So, so that creates elevation in meters. Once I have elevation in meters, I can then apply my topoclimatic model, which is going to be 30 minus elevation in meters times 0 0.005. So I'll first bring in a times again. In this times, oh, there we go. I'll connect my elevation meters to that as the first input or constant value. Then I'll double click on times and I'll put in my lapse rate as a negative lapse rate, which it is, negative 0 0.005. That's 5 divided by 1,000, negative 5 divided by 1,000. And I'll click OK. And here, I'll rename the second input to negative 0 0.005. And now it's getting, I have these two processes linked together. I'm just going to click on my model builder and then auto layout and then fit to window like so. So I auto lay out these two processes, but I'm still missing one because remember the model is 30 minus the lapse rate. In this case, we have times times underscore two as the output, which is just an intermediate layer where we have negative values 
for each cell because we multiplied every cell by negative 0 0.005. So now I have to say 30 plus that negative value. Since it's negative, that's 30 minus. So now I'll bring in plus over here. Connect times 2 times times 2 to plus as the first. I should say as the first, yeah. And then double click on plus and we put 30 in there. And I click OK. And I'll rename that second parameter as the value 30. So we have 30 plus a negative number, which is 30 minus the lapse rate. Again, I'll just auto layout and then fit to window. So now I have three processes and the output of plus is the topoclimatic model. So it's gonna be temperature. So I'm gonna rename that output to temperature. Like so. Now my model is in a ready to run state because all the boxes have colors. So I'm gonna click on validate to validate the model. Nothing's missing. So I click run. And we can see how it runs each part of it. And when it's finished, the drop shadows show up. And that means it's been already run. It's in an already run state. One thing I forgot to do is on temperature, I didn't put add to display, so I'll do that now. I'll right click and say add to display. And it will add that to the display. So let's have a look for save our model. We can close it. And this is now our temperature model. So we have low temperatures where it's high. So these are the high areas. To so just have a look at it, I'll just make this a little larger. So at, uh, L at an elevation of 4,186 feet, the temperature is 23 degrees. And at the lowest areas, we have higher temperatures, and that's what we would expect. So here we're just doing a bit of ad hoc validation. We might want to change the symbology as well to something more along a heat scale of colors. So on temperature, I'll choose it in my table of contents here. Then I'll go to appearance. I'll go to symbology, stretch. And I'll choose red to blue. So this is a better red to blue. Red is hot, blue is cold. We could have also done this via map algebra much quicker. So I'm going to go to analysis, open up my Python window, and since this is my first Python session, I'm going to do my imports. I'll say from arcpy.sa import all to import the spatial analyst functions. And I also want to set my environments here in Python. So I will, I will say, in this case, from arcpy import env. Now I will make a raster variable out of elevation. So I'll say elev, and I'm gonna make it into meters in the same expression. I'll say raster, and then I'll choose elevation. And then I'll multiply that times 0 0.03048. Not zero, 0 0.3048. Eight, like so. So now I have a lev and I've made it here. It's become part of the um, contents table. And I'm going to use a lev as my key 
raster variable or control raster variable for setting environments. So I'll say env dot output coordinate system equals allow env dot cell size equals allow env dot extent equals allow env dot um, snap raster equals allow env dot mask equals allow so I haven't done anything here that's different. I'm just showing you that that's the same thing that we did in tools. So we didn't have to do this here because we're using the same raster. Um, the environments for Python would have been inherited from the global environments. But this is just to show you how to do it. So once I've done that, of course, this is gonna be this in the Python window until I close and reopen ArcGIS. So I have to remember that after I do my analysis, I might want to reset my environments just so they go back to what's inherited from environments up here in case I change locations again and change environments in the application level environments from the analysis tab. That being said, so our topographic or topoclimatic model is pretty simple here. We'll just call it temp two equals 30 minus 0 0.005 times 11. And the order of operations here is this first because multiplication comes before subtraction. Or I could have put parentheses here to ensure that that happens first. Either way is fine. And there we go, we have the same values again. So temp2 and temperature give us the same values. As you can see here, if we removed all the import statements and the environment settings, if we didn't type all that, we'd only have two statements to write. And that would be this is obviously much quicker than building that model was. To show that the results are the exact same, the model versus the Python statements here, I'll just do again a difference map called D. So D equals, not logically equals, just equals, that's the assignment operator. Temp2 minus raster temperature. Right there. And we should have a raster with zero everywhere. And there it is. You can see it in the table of contents, zero, max, and min. And it's just like a gray box. So that is the difference between doing something with map algebra versus cartographic model. The model is a little much, quite a bit more details to tend to and things to fill in compared to just doing a couple of statements in the Python window.